hey guys what's up how's it going uh so in this video the topic of for today's lab is like how you can solve a mini project using prompts uh via aws code whisper all right so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open my uh pycham compiler right here because you know uh i feel like that will be a great fit for our project today because that is one of the most dedicated compiler for a python it works code of python like a charm in that uh, that's why it's a call is pycham what i think all right uh so we're gonna open our pycham compiler right here and uh, first of all uh before we start anything we're gonna make sure our aws toolkit is installed and ready to go uh in this compiler and for that that is very uh, actually very a similar process you just need to go to like the four lines on the top left right here you need to go to like file then settings and uh, then you're gonna go to the plugins and just type over here aws toolkit and you need to install that and enable that into your uh, pycharm compiler and that will be very similar process you need to uh, do exactly the same thing that i told you previously in one of our videos of visual studio code uh so yeah in my case the aws toolkit is installed and enabled and ready to go so i'm just gonna leave this stuff for uh this video today and first of all obviously uh what we all do is we need to open our new uh python file so for that i'm gonna go right here i'm gonna go to file then new new scratch file and i'm just gonna uh select python file because obviously we're doing python project over here all right so yeah as i told you guys earlier so these were the uh, pr few prompts and few comments that i chose uh, that will be suitable for our project today which is a file handling so yeah i just collected all my prompts right here and i'm just gonna show you guys today how you can integrate that to uh build a very cool project mini project of python today so yeah first of all before we start anything obviously we need to import our operating system to our uh PyCharm. I'm gonna select right here. I'm gonna hit enter. All right, so first of all, let me just go ahead and copy my first prompt right here. I'm just gonna paste it here. This prompt is basically off to get correct uh, current working directly, which is basically very important to, you know, just go into our system and uh, that will help us to go into our system first of all. So that is a very basic uh, first prompt, if you ask me. Just gonna hit enter and arise. Right, it gave me a suggestion. So I'm gonna hit tab to accept that. All right, so yeah, as you guys can see, it just gave me a complete code uh, that was suggested from uh, the code whisper in our PyCharm. So let me just go ahead and run it first, just to see like if we are in our uh, working directory or not. I'm just gonna run it right here. And it's saying, all right, so that is, uh, I think absolutely fine. And we are in our users and we're PyCharm projects, PyCharm projects, which is uh, absolutely right. All right, so for the second command, so let me tell you guys, so what I need to do is I have created a folder of JavaScript right here. And as you guys can see, I have very different uh, format of files over here. I have text document file as well. Then, then we have a JavaScript file. Then you have uh, a cascading file, a uh, style file as well. And then we have also uh, the HTML file too. So what I need to do is I need to manage uh, all those files to, you know, to their respectively folders. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to copy this path so why i'm copying this path because obviously i need to change my directory and go into this path right so that's why i'm copying this path and i i'll uh, tell pycharm to just change my directory to that one so for the second comment let me just type it instead of uh copying so i'm gonna ask him to change directory change the sorry change the working directory to a specific folder path okay so i'm gonna hit enter it's gonna suggest me a code all right so as you guys can see it just suggested me a code with a function os uh, chdir chdir is basically a chain directory function so what i'm gonna do right now that uh with the folder path that i copied earlier of javascript right here so i'm just gonna paste it uh to this one uh in the parameters because i need to go into that path right makes sense so that is basically what i need to do right i'm just gonna hit enter once again all right so it just completed the code for me let me just go ahead and check once again Again. so now it'll give me two outputs one's gonna be uh for the current work working directory that i that i had earlier and now it's gonna also show me the new directory that we are uh, that we will be working on so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and run this program once again just to see where we are right now all right yeah so as you guys can see before changing our directory it was basically to our uh, that umar app data it was in the different directory and now it's the directory that we wanted that it is in our javascript folder path we just inserted right here in the parameters so yeah now we're all set to go let's move to our next command which was basically we need to check the files in the directory obviously all right so now uh with the third command so our 
basically the main process is going to start right now so what what we're going to do in the third command is we need to uh, we'll go into the javascript that we need to get these javascript uh like folders and we need to work on those so let me just put in my third command right here to check the files in a directory and to check the extension of those as well let me just hit enter all right so now what it's going to do is going to print uh those files for me just to uh you know uh, just to double check if you're uh like working on the right files or folders so let me just go ahead and uh, hit run once again just to see all right so i think that is absolutely right uh what we had in our javascript folder we had like an demo uh, HTML file which is right here it show me the correct one then we have a function standard deviation file uh, which was a JavaScript file so that is right and a script JS file as well okay and a Usman txt file which is also available and a style dot CSS file so yeah uh, I think we are good to go now it's showing me the correct files that we need to work on uh, in order to arrange that and manage those okay yeah so for the third command we need to uh, basically separate the extension uh, from the file like whatever uh, is after the dot uh, that we see in the renaming of the file we need to separate those from the extensions uh, so that is basically a pretty easy step if you ask me we're just gonna uh, paste those and hit enter all right so that is working fine let me just complete the code first okay supplying the for loop that makes sense so yeah i think i suppose our code is complete now let me just go ahead and run this file in order to see we are uh, working fine all right yeah so as you guys can see it's working absolutely fine it just uh, you know separated the extensions for me with those files which is dot html dot js dot css and dot txt so that is working absolutely fine we are done with this step so now we'll go to our next prompt which was to make a file extensions unique all right so for the third step why we need to uh, you know do this file unique so basically that this step is very important so that you know we don't have any mixture any hustle of any folders and uh, so that we can you know easily work on those so yeah let me just paste my prompt right here all right so basically uh, it is using uh, the set function which is a very good uh, function in python to make the files unique so yeah i suppose that is working fine all right so i suppose that our code is finished over here let me just hit and uh, let me just go ahead and run this one more time uh yeah so yeah as you guys can see uh, our file extensions are being unique and they have been arranged in a very good uh you can say a perfect way basically why it was important to make this um, to make these extensions unique because you know that these are going to be the folders that we're going to be using uh because these are going to be the folders in our specific path for those files to get in okay so let's just go to our next prompt now which is you have to need to check and print the items in file extension let me just paste that right here and type enter all right so now it's basically showing me so the purpose of that was to check and print the number of items that we will be working on so it's showing me the number four which is pretty right in this case that i must say now we'll move to the next prompt i'm gonna copy and paste it right here i'm just gonna go ahead and print path over here just to you know uh see that uh just to see the output that we are working right on that i'm just gonna hit run once again okay seems to be like we have uh error over here let me just all right yeah so as you guys can see uh by the help of the os in my run variable which is very good to you know just go jump into your user profile and it can just you know uh, show you a path uh, into our, into your system so as you guys can see by the output we are correctly into our uh, users and umer and desktop and file management so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, just type in a prompt that will create a folder of that path into our desktop as file management and in the same file management we'll be having the exact same folders of the files that we need to be managed or arranged so i'm just gonna go into my next prompt which is obviously you need to make the path variable a directory using the osmkdir uh, function okay so it's using the osmkdir uh, function over here which is basically a very good function in order to create a folder for a path or directory i'm gonna run it okay so it's saying that the uh, the code is finished let me just go ahead and check now into our desktop that whether the directory or the folder has been created or not so yeah as you guys can see right here so we have successfully created a file management folder over here which is now empty because obviously we need to uh, use some more prompts in order to you know put uh, the folders into uh this directory i'm just gonna go back to my pycharm once again all right so basically the one thing you need to keep that in mind is now you have run this code one time right if you will run this once again so as you guys can see it's showing me a huge like nasty error right here because obviously it's saying that you cannot run this code once again obviously the file has been already exist right so that makes sense so for that you can do 
uh, like you can give it a prompt, a one another prompt. You know, if you will tell the code whisper like to check if the folder already exists, then it should remove the folder using a function and recreate one once again. So obviously because of that, we won't be seeing error again and again, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that prompt that I've already written with me right here. I'm going to paste it and it's just saying the exact same thing that I just mentioned. If the folder already exists, then remove the folder using the shut il function. Shut il function is basically used to basically delete folders or directory. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter. All right. Yeah. So as you guys can see, just suggested me a code. I'm just going to go ahead and hit tab. All right. So now if you uh, try to run this file over and over again, so you guys can notice it's not showing me error again and again, because obviously uh, we just uh, hit a prompt over here. So we are good to go now. All right. So now uh, for our last prompt, which is basically very important and very interesting, if you ask me. So what it's going to do is, is basically is, is it will run a for loop on file extensions. So file extensions were basically the same that we just didn't rated you know few prompts ago right here if you can see so yeah these were basically the unique extensions that we created so it's gonna run a for loop on that and it's gonna use an os dot list dir directory uh, just to see like if the file extension so for uh, our last prompt right here it's basically it's gonna run a for loop on file extension list and create a folder for each extension in the path variable so what it's gonna do is is uh, it, it is gonna run a for loop on the file extension the same unique extension that we created few prompts ago so it's gonna run a for loop on that and it will create a folder for each of those extensions all right so after that it's gonna check in uh, in the os dot list dir directory if the file extension is there in the file name and it's gonna copy that file to that folder uh, so that is basically what it's gonna do it's gonna check in that os list directly so if the same file extension is already present in the file name so it will is, is gonna simply copy that and paste that to the same folder of that respectively so let me just go ahead and hit that prompt and try to see if we have any suggestions for that so it just suggested me the code and now i'm just gonna go ahead and run all this up just to see that like whether we are done with our project or not let me just go ahead and run all of this all right so the last prompt that we just entered is showing the output like the file has been copied to the respected folders now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize that and go into our file management folder right here. Okay. Yeah. So as you guys can see, it just created uh, the different folders of respectively for each of the file. So we have a CSS folder over here. We have an HTML, JavaScript and text file. So these were basically the same. Uh, so it, it was basically the same from the JavaScript directory that we were wanting to uh, manage or assemble. So as you guys can see, like the CSS file has been, if we open that uh, CSS file, so it has the same CSS style file over here. It's, it has been going to a respective folder and then we open the HTML file. So HTML file we had in this JavaScript folder, which was demo. So demo is in its respective file as well and JS file same goes for that as well. So yeah, as you guys saw like by uh, using just few prompts, uh, we just assemble all of our files to the respective folders. This is basically the beauty of the file management project. Like, you know, it's how you can use your AWS code whisper like through prompts and you can just like run an entire project through that. So that is how cool it is. All right. So that will be it for uh, today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do kindly make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like like that and i'll catch you guys in the next one